we're getting into Jimmy Garoppolo, the situation, which is what it is right now, and the value of Jimmy if he continues to play well. All right? So I'm watching the Giants game last night, and I'm like, damn, Daniel Jones sucks. Like, he's terrible. Now, things aren't great around him. Uh, it looks like the offensive line, there might be some, you know, issues there under pressure. Uh, but his just decision-making is terrible. Uh, he's very inaccurate. And I'm just like, this is a team that should be in the market for Jimmy Garoppolo. Matter of fact, this is a team that should be in the market for giving up a first-round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo. Now I get it. Giants have – if they keep sucking like they are right now, they're going to, you know, they're going to be picking extremely high. So maybe it won't be a first. Maybe it would be a high second. Whatever the case is, I threw a first out there just in general, right? And I get a lot of pushback on that, that Jimmy Garoppolo will be a work a first. And, I, and this is my thing. If you would have asked me, I don't know, a few weeks ago, I'd have been like, hell no, nah, Jimmy is not no worth the first round pick. Like, no way, right? But the NFL is fluid and things move. And Jimmy Garoppolo right now, over the last four weeks, he's been the most efficient quarterback in the NFL. Now, again, I think as 49er fans or people that cover the 49ers, everyone knows that Jimmy, he is what he is, right? He has certain level of limitations. You can tell that they're not putting a whole lot – on his shoulders, even with what the game plan is right now, 49ers have been able to run the ball 86 times over the last two weeks, all right? So you, you you look at that and what he's been, and you look at the injuries, and I think a lot of that would tell you, like, that's not worth a first-round pick. But the NFL doesn't work that way. It is a, it is a what have you done for me lately league. And... When you look at Jimmy Garoppolo and what he's able to do, he is able to win games. He's able to win games. Is he great? I, I, I would say no, not great. But, he, you know, he could play good football. And, you know, you continue to look at Jimmy Garoppolo and, and what it is that he does well. And most of the time when the 49ers do lose, it's like, well, it's not, he's not the issue. When I look at the Giants and you look at their quarterback, Daniel Jones, it's like, he is a big part of the issue. I had somebody say me, tell me, well, you know, like his, you know, who he's playing with. And not, and not again, they can they can help with the offensive line, but he has weapons. I think they act like, you know, oh, it's the Giants. They don't have like these guys like that. Like, nah, man, they they got Kenny Galladay. They got Slayton. You know, they they had um Sterling Shepard. You know, I, he's out to injury right now. Got Kadarius Tony. Like, they, they got Saquon Barkley. Like, there are pieces there to have more success than what he's had, and he's just a bad quarterback. He's just bad. So when I look at a team like that and I look at Jimmy Garoppolo, one, I am I I just don't believe that Jimmy Garoppolo will be here next year. I don't think he's – I don't think he's good enough to overcome the circumstances, right? And when I say overcome the circumstances, I mean 49ers just traded the world – to get the number three overall pick and drafted somebody that plays the same position as him. That guy will be in regardless. And at some point you have to figure out a way to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. And the best way to move on from uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is trade him. And you need him to play well. Now there's two things here because the 49ers need him to play well because they are pushing towards the playoffs. And again, right now we're going to get into the 49ers. And I do believe they're a playoff team, but also you need him to play well. Because the value goes up. Now, Kyle Shanahan, uh, John Lynch, they're not thinking about that. They're not thinking about, oh, Jimmy, keep playing well so we can get more out of you, trade value. That No, that's not what they're thinking, and that's not where they're playing him. They're playing him because they feel like he gives them the best chance to win, and, you know, they know what he is and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, the next year he's gone, all right? And, he, and, again, he's playing good football. But there's a lot of pushback, and, I mean, my quote tweets were going crazy with Giants fans really killing me. Hold on. That's not what... Okay, I'm going to get to that, Trice. I'm going to leave this up here so I can get to this. But there were Giants fans really killing me. Jimmy Garoppolo, he's a bum. He's this, he's that, he's that. Jimmy Garoppolo, one, he's not a bum. Jimmy Garoppolo does not suck. You know, you can, you can be critical of Jimmy Garoppolo's ability to consistently stay healthy. Like, yeah, you can say, well... He doesn't really throw the ball down the field well. All right. 
But even within that, he's figured out a way over the last four weeks to be the most efficient quarterback in the NFL. And with just however he plays or his limitations, he's been more of a winning quarterback than a losing quarterback while with the 49ers. So however you want to spin it, he's above, he's, I don't want to say he's above average. He's, he's a slightly above average quarterback. And what, what, what's the, what can you get for that? What can you get for a slightly above average quarterback? And I would say you can get a first round pick. Matter of fact, let's talk about it. All right. The one, one of my pushbacks I got this morning from someone was that he's, he's a, in, he's in injury prone. Matter of fact, I don't even want to butcher it. I want to say exactly what my guy said to me. All right. This morning, he said a first rounder for a mediocre, fragile quarterback. Yeah. Good luck with that. Right. And my response was Sam Bradford, right? What was Sam Bradford when he got traded from the Eagles to the Vikings? An injury prone, brittle, mediocre quarterback. And they got a first round for him. Injury prone, <laughs> fragile, me like he was tearing his ACL every week. I mean, every year. But what they do, they gave him, they traded him first round pick, right? It, it's what the it's whatever the market says you, you're worth. Not what fans think you're worth. Not what even sometimes your team thinks you're worth. It's what the market says you're worth. And when you're looking at the market of this upcoming uh, season, right, the market for a quarterback is not going to be great, especially when you look at the draft. This draft last year, it had some high-level quarterbacks, five of them in the first round. This draft coming up, it is not the same type of level of quarterbacking. You don't have the Trevor Lawrence. You don't have the Justin Fields. You don't have the guy with the high upside like Trey Lance. You don't have the Mac Jones, the most efficient quarterback in college football history. You don't have Zach Wilson who came on and was firing and doing all these other things. Like you don't, you don't have, you don't have any of that. Like it's, you have Matt Corral, maybe. Spencer Rattler was supposed to come out. Spencer Rattler was supposed to be a first overall pick. He's just, he got benched. So a lot of it is the market. So all those things raise the stock of Jimmy Garoppolo. All those things raise the value of Jimmy Garoppolo. It makes you be able to get more for Garoppolo than I think what most people would think. Right? So with, with Jimmy Garoppolo, there is potential there that the 49ers would get much more than what people think. Let's talk about another quarterback because, again, let's go back to the tweet. And my guy said, a first rounder for a mediocre, mediocre, fragile quarterback. All right, well, what was Carson Wentz? What was Carson Wentz when he was traded? Mediocre, fragile quarterback, right? Carson Wentz was broken up. Carson Wentz got benched for Jalen Hurts. And then it was so bad that not only did he get benched, they said, all right, yeah, you're, you're going to get benched. And you know what? We're just not even going to dress you. Like the situation was that bad. And still for him, they got a third round pick and then a another pick that can either be a second or a first, depending on how many games he plays. And it looked like he's about to get a first. So, and that was a, a future pick. But they were able to get a third and now a first round pick for Carson Wentz. Now I see my guy Jets Gang say Wentz is younger. I don't think that matters. I don't think it matters that Wentz is younger because Jimmy – it's not like old like that in quarterback years. Can you get three years out of Jimmy Garoppolo? Could you get four? Like, yeah. Would he be 32, 33, 34 years? Like, yeah. But like, you know, 30, what, what is he, 29 years old now? 30, 30 years old? Like, he's not old. So right now is like, can you get Jimmy Garoppolo? Can he play? Can he give you three good years? And if a team believes that, then all right, again, Sam Darnold. While younger, like my guy uh, Jet Gang said, all right, Sam Darnold was playing atrocious. Again, brittle, injury-prone, mediocre quarterback. They were able to get a sixth, a second, and a fourth round pick for Sam Darnold, who was terrible. Terrible. Sam Darnold was terrible. Terrible. All right? And they got, again, a sixth, a second, and a fourth for Sam Darnold. So, again, we can look at Jimmy Garoppolo. Is Jimmy Garoppolo better than Sam Darnold? Y'all tell me if y'all think he's not. Right? Only thing you can say is, well, Sam Darnold's younger. You know what I'm saying? He has a higher upside. He does better throws and stuff like that. And I agree. Like, he, there's some things that he does better. But, again, 
Sam Darnold has been ass. Ass. And next year, he's his fifth year option. They picked it up. He's making 25 million. All right. So Carson Wentz situation uh led to locker room. Yeah, so that's why Carson ultimately got benched. I mean, not benched, uh, inactive, but he wasn't playing well. Carson Wentz, all, if you look at the 2020 season and you look at all those metrics with quarterbacks and stuff like that, like he's at the bottom. He was the worst quarterback in, in, in the NFL last year. He was terrible on top of injuries and things like that. So, again, when we start talking about, I think we're, we are, I think we're overestimating, not we, because I'm not, clearly. I think fans are overestimating front offices and what they're doing to get what they're willing to do to get a competent quarterback in their building. And Jimmy Garoppolo is that. I strongly believe if Jimmy keeps playing how he is, which is a solid starting quarterback, the 49ers could potentially get a first round pick for him. And if not a first round, I mean, you can get a high second and maybe something else. There aren't a lot of court, like, I know 49er fans, we get so locked into watching the 49ers. There's not a lot of good quarterback play around the league. And right now, it's looking like there aren't many answers. There, there, there's not many answers out there in the upcoming years. 